Hello everyone, in this uh, video I am coming with a new topic that is circuit switching. So in my earlier video I have introduced about circuit switching. So circuit switching which is uh, none other than which is a type of switching. Uh, so, in, so there is mainly two types of switching, one is message switching, one is circuit switching. Uh, so in message switching I, I have discussed in my earlier video. Now, in this video, we will see what is actually circuit switching. So, in circuit switching, what happens? Uh, there is a physical connection um, between the source and the destination. Um, uh, so, this type of uh, is, um, switching system is mainly used for telephone switching system. So, the answer for whatever the path selected uh, between, uh, between the source and the destination. So for that time being, it is the enterprise part is dedicated to a single set of users until transmission and other necessary action completed during this time. No any other user can use the same part. That means suppose uh, if a part is established and two users are using that part, two users are communicate with the, uh, between uh, by this by using that part. So at that time what happens if some other user uh, wants to use that uh, path, uh, he or she cannot use it, uh, cannot use that path. So that means we can say the path is ideal to the uh, specified uh, user. So the, as uh, we come to know that means there is some physical connection, so this physical connection can be done by some simple wire or coaxial wire or radio or satellite link. So this is a figure for uh, connection uh, in case of circuit switching. So this is one switching, uh, this is one uh, telephone system. So two telephone systems are communicate, communicated uh, by using uh, circuit switching. So there is so many, uh, so many connections. So these are switching offices, uh, exchange office, actually switching exchange office. So by this uh, uh, office, uh, uh, by this offices, uh, they will make the connections uh, between the users, so and users uh, can uh, easily uh, communicate uh, between them. So in circuit switching, basically three major functions is performed. So first is what the source request uh, the network for the route before transmission. So before transmitting the uh, 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 transmitting the information source request time that means uh, from the source it is it is requested to, to the network that the route will be established that the physical connection will have to make now uh, next is if uh, once the route is selected now the data transfer will take place next if data transfer is completed then the that part will be released so that is actually three major parts so definitely for all this uh, some time will be required some specific time will be recorded. Now we will see uh, uh, for the time taken by a circuit switching, so how it is calculated, so what are the parameters um, it is used uh, for finding it, so that we will now see. So the total time taken for a circuit switching is a summation of Te plus Cp plus Cr. Te is the time for Connection establishment, it is the time for data transmission and, and here is the time for path release. <coughs> now, how we will uh, find this uh, spe specific time TE, CT, and TR, TR that we will see. So, TE depends upon the number of switching modes in the path between the source and the destination. So, T can be explained or expressed as N minus 1 into TS. Uh, uh, so, what is uh, so n is what n is already I explained that is the number of nodes. Now what is TS? So TS is the average route selection time in each node. That means for each and every node they require some time. So that time is the time is called T. Again CT. So CT is what? So that is the time taken for data transmission. So it is depend upon uh, M and R. So M is what message length and R is the that the uh, data transfer rate. Uh, so by uh, by doing this calculation, it, we are easily able to we can easily able to find Tt. So our next time is the for the um, third function. Our time is 
TR that means releasing time. So TR is again uh, TR also depends on the uh, switching load and um, also the time for making housekeeping entries. So uh, for housekeeping entries, uh, they require some time. So uh, that time and uh, multiplication of the number of nodes is the first of TR that is the releasing releasing time. So if we uh, summarize all this, then we are easily uh, can establish the uh, relationship like this. That means total time is equal to n minus one into T S plus n by r plus n into T M. So uh, again, there, there is actually uh, some propagation time is also needed for um, uh, electrical distance between source and destination and the medium of the transmission some propagation time is also uh, actually uh, incorporated within this so if we assume that uh, uh, propagation time if we introduce this propagation time for finding the uh, total circuit uh, total time required in circuit switching then our formula will be like this tcs equal to n minus 1 ts plus n by r plus n into tm plus 4 into tt so that is our uh, introducing the uh, propagation time. So, depending on this formula, we have one numerical. So, we will see now this numerical. So, in the question, it is given a circuit switch connection involves four switching nodes. Each node takes one second and one second for establishing and releasing connection respectively. If the data transfer rate is 28 BPS, complete the data transfer time for a message that is 500 bytes long. So now we will see what are the parameters we given and what we have to find. So, uh, so um, here we have to find uh, total time. But uh, here one more thing is this. Here TP is not given. That is propagation time. No information uh, regarding propagation time. That means we have to, uh, we can skip that propagation time. So our formula will be this one, that earlier one formula. So if we count the values, all the values, uh, so we can easily find that TCS is our 4.4. So there are some disadvantages also uh, for circuit switching. There are some disadvantages. So one of the disadvantages is as uh, there is path setting is uh, needed. So that means some uh, time can be uh, time consumption will be uh, happen uh, as uh, uh, it is uh, for selecting the path. It uh, it is not done uh, for not selecting for uh, for communicating, for communicating the uh, establishing the physical path, it requires some path uh, time. Uh, some the entire line quality is affected if there is one bad link in the network as it will be referred poor quality, although major portion of the network uses high quality link. Of course, all the uh, uh, all the portion of the network is high, but if there are some poor quality network, then it will also affect the whole uh, link because uh, all are physically connected. Uh, the bad part as well as the good part are uh, high quality part also physically connected. Na? that's why it is like this. So uh, this is so this problem is referred as last mile problem. Uh, so so this is all about the about our circuit switching. Thank you everyone.